What's good, guys? So I get online first thing this morning, and I see all of the buzz about a Vatican blackout. So I have to go and research it, of course. So I dig around a little bit, and I thought this article best summed it up. So the title of the article is, Why is the Internet a Buzz with False Claims of a Vatican Blackout? This is the image. It's actually a YouTube screenshot of St. Peter's Square at night. You can see the lights. Okay. This article came out about an hour ago. It says, on Sunday, January the 10th, the internet was abuzz with false reports of an overnight blackout at the Vatican, accompanied by a series of claims concerning Pope Francis, the Italian police, and the FBI. The claims were widely shared by conspiracy theorists, generating bewilderment and concern among Catholics around the world. What happened? On January the 10th, a website called The Conservative Beaver published a report headlined, quote, Vatican Blackout, all caps. Pope arrested on 80-count indictment for child trafficking, fraud, end quote. The article was widely shared on Twitter and triggered a spike in Google searches for the term, quote, Vatican Blackout. What do we know about the Conservative Beaver website? The website describes itself as, quote, a conservative news outlet, end quote that has published, quote, new stories of interest to proud Canadians, end quote, for more than 10 years. It says it is a self-funded enterprise that began in a University of Ottawa dorm room before emerging as an, quote, underground newspaper, end quote, in Montreal and online. What did the report allege? The website claimed that Pope Francis was arrested on Saturday, January the 9th, in connection with an 80-count indictment of charges including possession of child pornography, human trafficking, incest, possession of drug paraphernalia, and felony fraud. The report asserted that the arrest was ordered by, quote, the Italian National Prosecutor's Office, end quote, and carried out by, quote, military officers, Italian police, and their sex crimes unit, end quote, amid reports of gunshots. It claimed that the agents cut off the power in the Vatican and dimmed the live cam overlooking St. Peter's Square to cloak their actions. It further alleged that the Pope had been transferred to an unknown prison for interrogation by federal agents working for the state of Italy and Interpol and that the Pope would then be questioned by the FBI. Is there any evidence supporting the claims? No not a single established news outlet reported a disturbance at the Vatican on Saturday. EWTN Vatican correspondent Colm Flynn, who lives close to the Vatican, said, quote, I didn't notice any power outage across the weekend. I was at home on Saturday most of the evening and there was no power cut, end quote. Mountain Budorik, or Budorak, a tour guide based near St. Peter's Basilica reported that there was no, quote, massive blackout, end quote, at the Vatican. He said that he heard no gunfights or other indications of a police raid. Regarding the dimming of the live cam, he pointed out that the camera exposure on live feeds changes in response to weather conditions. In any case, he wrote, you can see the lights are very much on. You can see the dome. You can see the lights on the colonnade. You can see some office apartment lights. You can see the nativity lights. You can see the Christmas tree star. Did conspiracy theorists seize on the claims in the conservative beaver report? They did. Conspiratorially minded Twitter users sought to connect the report to the U.S. elections as well as a massive power outage in Pakistan. 
How did the conservative Beaver site respond to the debunking of its report? The website posted an update on Sunday responding to readers who pointed out that Pope Francis had tweeted that very morning. It argued that the tweet had been scheduled in advance by the Pope's social media team and insisted that Pope Francis is still in federal custody in Italy, hence he has not been seen on video. Has Pope Francis made any appearances since the report? Yes! He delivered his Angelus address, as usual via live stream, from the library of the Ap Apostolic Palace on Sunday morning. Has the Vatican reacted to the report? When asked about the report on January the 11th, the Holy See press office responded by pointing to Pope Francis's busy schedule of meetings on Monday morning, this morning, implying that it was business as usual at the Vatican. Has Pope Francis said anything about fake news? Yes, he dedicated his 2018 message for World Communications Day to the topic, arguing that fake news dates back to the temptation of Adam and Eve by the serpent in the Garden of Eden. The strategy of this skilled father of lies, John 8.14, is preci precisely mimicry, that sly and dangerous form of seduction that worms its way into the heart with false and alluring arguments, he wrote. The Pope also devoted part of his most recent encyclical, Fratelli Tutti, to media distortions. He noted that the internet was marked by closed circuits that facilitate the spread of fake news and false information. Has Pope Francis been a target of fake news before? This is not the first time that false reports have circulated about Pope Francis. In 2013, for example, a widely circulated report claimed that the, that the Pope had declared that all religions are true <laughs> and the Third Vatican Council, at the Third Vatican Council. In 2015, a viral article said that the Pope had announced that he was revising the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's just comical to me. The Vatican blackout story is just the latest example. That 2015 um, viral article saying that the Pope was going to revise the Ten Commandments. Come on, guys. Come on. Sheesh. Uh, so I just wanted to bring this story to the channel. I thought this article was laid out really good. Um as far as organizing the information in a um, reasonably intelligent manner. So, I'm going to end the story here, but I just wanted to bring this because you're probably going to hear a lot about it today. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.